Hi, Carolyn Herforth here with The Biz Truth. And there are a lot of entrepreneurs who come to me and talk about their reluctance to make sales conversations. And typically it's something that's rooted in an old story. So today we're gonna talk about how you can get past, beyond, through, over, under, around any sales reluctance you might have. I'm gonna give you two tips. One is really short and one is really long. So the first one is, you can suck it up and you can just pick up the phone and bang out calls, okay? Now, I have a friend and colleague, Jennifer Zwiebel, from A Place of Joy, who talks about her 10-minute miracle. And so if you're really, really struggling with selling and having this reluctance, can you, you can do anything for 10 minutes, can't you? Can you pick up the phone for 10 minutes? What Jennifer maintains is just set a timer and do whatever it is you don't wanna do, set a timer for 10 minutes, and when the timer goes off and your 10 minutes are up, you can be done. And you just bang it out in those 10 minutes. So that's one option. And I have clients who do that just until they start getting into the flow. Here's the cool thing. When you do that, you find that you make sales and sales doesn't become so bad. So that is a nice little shortcut. A second thing you can do that takes a little bit more time, maybe 30, 40 minutes or more, is to figure out what your selling story is. So I have a sales training program, it's called Art of the Ask, and in it, I talk about all sorts of things that screw up your brain and your mind and your heart and your gut when it comes to selling. And one of it is the selling story. It's the influences or any past manipulation that we may have experienced when it came to a selling situation. Those stories could come from our parents, our friends, a bad experience buying something where you kind of felt cornered. Everyone uses the example of the used car salesman. I ha happen to like my used car salesman when I was buying cars, but they're all, everyone has all sorts of stories. I'll give an example of one client. So her name is Rosie. And a few years ago, Rosie plain old said, I am not asking questions in a sales conversation because that's manipulative. And I'm like, whoa, just a minute. When did questions become manipulative? Like questions are the best way to engage and learn about someone and collaborate. That's to me, the best way, the best way to have a sales conversation is through questions. So I dug a little deeper with Rosie and what I found out is she had bought a program, actually a sales training program from a guy a couple years earlier. It was a $5,000 sales training program where she had to fly to some other city and pay for a hotel and pay for flights and you know spend this weekend learning sales. And the first thing he told them when they got into this room was, I use questions to get you here. I use questions to manipulate you and, and get you to sign up for this program. So hello, I mean, I would probably have that same exact kind of feeling towards questions when someone says that. So let's break down Rosie's thing because there's real stuff that happened in this and then there's some kind of ridiculous stuff that happened in, in her creating this story around why all questions were bad. So the real is that she bought a program that was $5,000. The real is he used questions to manipulate her. The real is she traveled a really long way to go to this, this thing. The ridiculous is that she made it out to be that all questions for the, it's until the end of time are manipulative. And that's where you can take some real things and then you start to distort them and make them turn into this ridiculous thing, that um, belief that doesn't serve you. So as soon as Rosie realized, oh my gosh, I'm, <laughs> all right, not everybody uses questions to manipulate, it totally changed her relationship with selling and she was able to get past it. So what I would suggest for you is if you're wondering how to get past your call rel reluctance is go back to your history. How did your parents talk about sales? What was your first experience having, making a sale maybe, if you've made one? Um, what was your experience having bought something? Did you get screwed in the past where you really felt like someone took advantage of you? And look at all the different things that may have created a negative selling story and spend some time really looking through the facts. What's the real part of each of those stories and what's the ridiculous part of that story and see if you can come to terms and um, come to peace 
with what selling really is and what really what selling really isn't to you. I hope this helps you overcome your sales reluctance. And if you need more information on going through the real versus the ridiculous, you can go to uh, the URL below and learn a little bit more about Art of the Ask uh, sales training because it's an amazing, not only does it teach you how to get over your mindset stuff and reluctance to sell, it helps you define and clarify who your potential, your ideal clients are and how to articulate your value and how to create questions that really create a collaborative sales conversation and how to get the business and close. So you can, uh, you can access that at the URL below. Go get them.